In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the transformed section approach to approximate our behavior of a, a reinforced concrete column in the linear elastic zone. We're going to use our equilibrium compatibility and constitutive um, equations to uh, uh, aid in our derivation. We'll start with our equilibrium expression, and we'll substitute in our area times our stress for our concrete and our area times our stress for our steel. Next, uh, we'll substitute our expression 2 in to uh, our uh, expression here. So we'll have AC FC plus AS times FC ES over EC equal to our total load. Next, we will factor out our FC. So we'll get AC plus AS times ES over EC, all times our FC equal to our P total. And then we'll substitute in, uh, so we'll define N as EC or ES over EC. So this is our modular ratio. So we'll get AC plus AS times N times FC equals P total. And this uh, value here is our transformed area. So our transformed area we can also express uh, visually where we'll have our, the area of our concrete so minus the steel plus N times the area of our steel equals our transformed area. So this transformed area is an equivalent area of all concrete that uh, is the same as the behavior of our, our reinforced concrete section. We can next simplify this expression further. So if we add an area of steel to this side and take one away from our other side, we can get uh, this expression. So essentially just moving one area of steel here to there. We know that our AC plus AS is just our gross area, which in this case would just be our base times height without taking out the, uh, the area of steel. So plus N minus one times AS. So this is our uh, simplified expression for our uh, transformed area. And then we can relate our stress to our total force in our column in the linear elastic range using this transformed area. So these are the, the two expressions that we can use uh, to relate stress to force in the linear elastic region for axial loaded columns.